Matt Murphy here with Dave Cohn. We're actually going through some of the top features of AutoCAD. Some of the things that people have recommended some of their favorite things in AutoCAD. May not necessarily be ours, and probably not one of mine. Is this DWG Convert. I just don't get it, David. Tell me about it. I just don't understand why anybody would even want to use it. Well, you know, this was one of the top 10 requested features on the Augie wish list. People that work in large corporations, they work with other users, they're constantly having to share drawings. And a lot of times, the people they're sharing it with don't have the most recent version of AutoCAD. And so what DWG Convert does is lets you batch convert multiple AutoCAD drawings in a single click to whatever version of AutoCAD they may be using, and it can pack them all up in a neat zip or self-extracting archive so it's easy to send to them. So this, wait a minute, this is a tool then for people that have older releases of the product? Yeah, it can be. Or they just want to zip up a bowl, whole bunch of drawings and they need to do this repeatedly. They go through an iteration, they make a bunch of changes, they need to ship those drawings off. It's a one-click, package them all up in whatever version they want them in and send them off. Hey, I'm all about one-click. Show me. Okay. To start the DWG Convert Utility, Expand the application menu by clicking the big red A in the upper left corner of the screen, and then choose Save As, DWG Convert. The program displays the DWG Convert dialog. Click the Add File button to display a standard file selection dialog box in which you can select drawing files to add to the conversion list. I'll choose several files and then click Open. On the right side of the dialog is a list of conversion setups. You can modify conversion setups or create new setups. To do so, click the Conversion Setups button. AutoCAD displays a list of conversion setups. To create a new conversion setup, click the New button. To modify an existing conversion setup, choose it in the list on the left and then click the Modify button. To create a new conversion setup. In the New Conversion Setup dialog, I must enter a name for the new conversion setup. I'll call it CAD Learning 2007. And I can base my new setup on any existing conversion setup. I'll accept the default which is to use the standard setup, and click Continue. In the Modify Conversion Setup dialog, I can choose the settings I want to use for converting drawings. In the File Format dropdown, I can choose the version of AutoCAD to which I want to convert the files. Not every previous version appears in this list, because the file format doesn't necessarily change with each release. I can also use this checkbox to specify whether drawings are saved with visual fidelity for annotative objects. When this checkbox is selected, each scale representation will be saved to a separate layer. Notice that there are quite a few other options I can configure. Once you have finished configuring the conversion setup, click OK. Then click Close to close the Conversion Setups dialog. To convert the files in the list, choose the conversion setup you want to use, and then click Convert. Depending on the conversion setup you choose, the program may display a standard dialog box so that you can specify the name of the conversion package. When I click Save, the files in the list will be converted and saved to the conversion package file using the settings specified in the conversion setup. 